All right, in this video, we're gonna run through the steps and procedures to make a wooden hinge. Not gonna be in great detail about it, but just gonna kind of show you the procedures and maybe the setups a little bit on different router bits and stations. Uh, I've got different stations set up so I don't have to change the bit. I make it one cut on one station and move over to the next station. That way I don't have to constantly be changing the bits. Uh, what we're going to do today is some cherry. You can make you can make about any size hinge. And I use a I use a couple of different methods to to make mine. I don't cut them purely from by hand. I don't have the first few I made by hand, but that took me extremely long amount of time, and I just ain't that good and that patient to <laughs> those people that. Make everything without power tools. I, my hat's off to them. They've got way more patience than I do. But anyway, I I, I, uh, I do use a few uh, few tools to make it easier. So we start out with a three eighths blank. This is, I'm going to make some three eighths hinges. Of course, you'd naturally use the thickness of your blank would match whatever hinge you wanted to wind up with in the end. But we're going to make some three eighths here today. So I'm going to start out with a three eighths blank. This one's a little bit small. It should be about six inches. Uh, if you read the uh, uh, read the literature on making hinges and stuff with some of the equipment, like anchor, I use an anchor fence and an anchor setup, and they recommend six inches both ways. I do uh, I do with a little bit less because I'm not going to waste this smaller cherry wood, and this is just great for some hinges. Anyway, I'm going to start out with this, and I'm going to cut bull nose on each end of it. Uh, we'll cut the bullnose on the end, and it'll be a three-eighths. And then we'll turn it up on the edge, and we'll cut another bullnose pass down the side of it. And that'll round us over and start and form our barrel. And uh, I'll cut this piece and show you what I'm talking about. Get the camera twisted around here to the machine. I'm going to use a. Just a minute. I'm going to use a, uh, a push block because it's not six inches wide, and uh, uh, keep your fingers away from the bit. Uh, you want to you want to stay safe as possible. Uh, always always follow the safety procedures. Anyway, I'm going to use this extra board to push it through, and that'll help us keep it from tilting, keep it straight, and use the feather board here to help hold it down. Make sure it don't pull it up or move around or anything. I'm going to show right here you can see the round over. Uh, starting on it. So uh, this 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 is the start of your barrel, and we'll turn it up. We'll make another pass back here, and then that'll form us a barrel. I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of my blanks in this cut because we'll move move the feather board and stand it up. So I'll go ahead and make these cuts, finish these out, and then we'll switch it out and do the other side. Okay, we've got those cut. Now we're going to add a add the feather board. Get set up here right quick. Make the next pass. And you can do this without a feather board. Much safer and 
much easier to control it. You don't have to worry about it kicking back on you if you get twisted up in there and caught on the bit. Um, much, much easier to use and safer. I'll switch over to a little, little push piece right here, and that'll give us a piece to push it through. Keep our fingers away from the bit, and should be should be able to maintain the straightness of it. Okay, now here we form the barrel. Of course, this is just rough, and you've got to leave it just a little flat on the edge, or else when you come across the fence, it'll cut more off and it'll snipe as it comes out. But anyway, here's our barrel, and we'll cut the rest of these, and then we'll take it over here and we'll cut this waste back and make our leaf. I've already got set, so we don't, I'm going to have to do any adjusting. Uh, I'm sure that everybody can set their own router station up. Okay, now, what we're going to do, I've got an inch cutter set up in here. That's all I need for a leaf is an inch back from the barrel. But you want to set it up where it comes right up to the edge of the barrel. I guess you can see that. Right up there to the edge of the barrel. And you want about one thirty second deeper cut than we've got here. We want to take it, take it down an additional 30 seconds. And what that's for, when you put your hinge together, together and it closes, if you don't have it deep enough, it'll bind and it'll be stand open out here on the end. You want to make sure that doesn't happen. And... If you take this down about a 30 second more than this cut is already here, then they'll close up. I found that works really well and it don't cut no more than necessary, but then your hinge will close completely. Okay, now here's here's what it looked like after we uh, make the pipes with the straight cutting bit. See, we'll cut the notches in the barrel for the other side. You always, you'd think you wouldn't with a backing plate, but have a little bit of tear out right here, but this is okay. Once we cut the notches and get the hinge made, we'll bring this back to the saw and saw this off. This, this is going to be a little bigger than I need for the actual hinge. So on the uh, on the bus breakout side here, where it tired out just a little, 
We'll cut that away. Now, this is an anchor fence. And I'm using the, the templates, the different templates that come with the anchor. Uh, I won't go into that if you've never seen one. Check it out on YouTube. Uh, if you do a lot of joinery, if you do a lot of dovetails and box joints, I mean, there's a million different ways to do it, but this thing has worked really great. Uh, I'm not going to turn it into a commercial for anchor, but it works really, really well. All right, anyway, we're going to set up with our blanks, and uh, we're going to cut two at a time, and we'll put them back to back. We'll make a cut on this end and cut these two, and then we'll flip it over, and we'll use a different guide and make these cuts. So when we cut these two leaves apart, then they'll mesh, and it'll make a hinge. It'll be even across, and the fingers will line up. Now we should be sinking back up. We'll go ahead and get and start cut the uh, cut the barrels on this. Okay, now there's the. Now these will cut the same, same spacing, so they'll. They're offset here. The next, the next pair that we cut. Will be matched. The fingers will be offset on those, to where they match, and the outside of the hinges will line up. Let's go ahead and, and cut those. Back to back again. Okay, here we go. Now we've got these cut. We'll take these blanks. Now they line up here. And this is how we have a hinge. <laughs> 